Hey everyone, how's it going? Exotic SFL here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys an old video that I never actually uploaded on my YouTube channel. Don't worry, it was filmed in December of 2019, so around Christmas time, and uh, so completely not breaking any rules of what's going on right now. Most importantly, I hope you all are staying safe and are healthy and are inside or enjoying if you guys, you know, going out for a drive or something like that's what I've been doing quite a bit um, and it's helped a lot. So uh, thank you guys so much and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, Exotic SFL here and uh, good morning from Fort Lauderdale. I'm back in the east coast of Florida and on the east coast of Florida. And I'm really tired, I just woke up. I'm gonna go for a run. I'm staying with my friend Benji again. I'll introduce you guys to him when he wakes up. And we got a really cool day today. We're going to Miami. And I'll tell you guys more about that when I'm done with my run. All right guys, so my friend Benji is in the passenger seat. I'm driving today, I'm driving my car. We are going, shut up Siri. So today we are going to the Miami Design District. We're going to Prestige Imports in Miami, which is car heaven. You've probably seen it on YouTube, but I gotta show you guys this. It's absolutely nuts. And then we're also gonna go to Brickle City Center, which is a shopping mall in downtown Miami, and it's really nice. So I'll show you guys when we get there. Okay, as you can see, we're at Prestige Imports. Benji's taking a look at this Lotus Evora S, or an Evora GT. It's a very nice spec. We have this uh, it looks like a Toyota Tundra that's called a De Devolro. That looked really cool. And we have a, a Range Rover and a really nice 4x4 squared, but we're going to head inside and see what's inside. I can already see a Mansory Veyron, an Aventador SV. We saw Pagani, and the, uh, yeah, let's go inside. Okay, so we're at Prestige Imports inside, and the cars in here are absolutely insane. And we're in a delivery room, with, which has a turntable and a very, very special car. A Pagani Zonda S. You never see these in the United States. And this one on it, I think it looks like the very first Pagani, I'm not sure, but it even has the wing mirrors on the top, which is very weird. Usually they put them on the right here and on later cars, and this one is in mint condition. Look at that. Look at the interior. The manual gearbox, the wheels, and it's got the spoiler. And look at the exhaust. It's got carbon fiber surrounding, but this exhaust, it looks like like straight out of like World War II. That, that looks so cool. That's really cool. Zonda C12 is the name. Yeah, Benji's pointing out the carbon fiber on this car. Wow, well, but there's way more to show you. So we got two Lotuses, Lotus Avoras. Um, they are Lotus and Karma dealership. We have a McLaren Mercedes SLR 722, Rolls Royce Dawn, a Karma. Look at this Aventador. This thing looks insane with the 1016 hood, beautiful, beautiful red exterior and with some red details on the inside. And we got a really nice spoiler and carbon fiber. All right, so now we're looking at the back of this car and just look at these details right there. And the exhaust looks like it's uh, like the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport with this whole design here. And the interior as well has some really cool details. We have a beautiful white, balloon white Aventador SV. Um, and look at this LaFerrari here. It's gray, really nice gray with red interior and unusually a body colored roof. You don't see that too much on LaFerraris as there are two more over there. So. First of all, I want to show you guys this Kutosh with gold wheels. That looks so, so nice. And I want to draw your attention to the four Pagani Wyras here. So this one is just your normal Wyra uh, with some red details on it in full exposed carbon fiber. Absolutely stunning. Look at that interior. Wow. Wow. And then over here, we have a very similar spec exterior Pagani Wyra Roadster with, again, the red accents and the exposed carbon fiber. But this one has a red interior and that is stunning. Wow, look at the stitching in that. And uh, the Roadster has this unique 
grill pattern that the normal Wyras don't. And this over here, we have the Pagani Wyra BC El Ultimo, which is Brett David's car who owns this whole Prestige Imports franchise, Lamborghini Miami, and he owns everything. And so he has, I think, that Wyra and this Wyra as well. And this car is just absolutely stunning. Like the blue details and the silver and the carbon fiber and the interior is just breathtaking. And the Pagani Wyra BC has the signature roof scoop with the huge wing in the back. Okay, so moving on from the El Ultimo, we have a normal Pagani Wyra with a beautiful color scheme of a candy apple red with silver wheels and a gorgeous tan interior. If any Pagani were to be mine, it'd probably be specced like this. Um, I remember when the Pagani wire came out and they, it came out in a very similar color scheme and I always loved the red with the carbon fiber details. And this particular car has the Tempesta package with the titanium exhaust and some engine work, I think, some new wheels. And it also has a front splitter. But moving on from the four Paganis here, but moving on, we have two LaFerraris. So you can compare what a LaFerrari looks like with silver, with uh, silver wheels and with black wheels. Um, take what you like. I particularly like the black wheels, but I'd take the red interior from this car and put it in here. But regardless, they're still absolutely stunning. LaFerrari, hybrid, supercar, part of the Holy Trinity. Um, we also have another member of the Holy Trinity in here. We have a 918 Spider. We're gonna stroll past the 720S to have to get to the 918 Spider. Um, there is no P1 in here. If we had a P1, we would have all the Holy Trinity together in one space. This um, is not a Vysok car. Actually, wait, it is, I'm sorry. Uh, the wheels threw me off for a sec, but this is a Vysok car. We have one of my favorite non-hypercar Ferraris, and that is the Ferrari 458 Speciale Aperta. Aperta just basically means it's a convertible, and for whatever reason, they decided to make the Speciale convertible very limited, unlike the normal Speciale Coupe. What did you say? The car sounds insane. Oh, yeah. Naturally aspirated V8, so the last naturally aspirated V8 Ferrari mid-engine supercar so this thing sounds glorious and the spec on this car is very nice with these silver black door handles excuse me carbon fiber door handles and uh, alcantara red interior beautiful beautiful spec but we, let's move to the veyron because you know you, a veyron you cannot mistake benji just pointed out the exhaust you can see with the spoiler up 16.4 16 cylinders four turbochargers 1001 horsepower from this beast 253 miles an hour top speed i'll never forget the specs of this car a veyron this is like i think a 2009 and it looks so timeless especially compared to like the newer stuff like the 458 the r8 the dawn over here and so it's a beautiful 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 car and i always love the bugatti veyron and it always has a very special place in my heart because I've always loved this car when I was a kid. And so that is Prestige Imports. We're gonna go to the Miami Design District next. Okay, so we are now at Lamborghini Miami actually, which is right next to Prestige Imports, conveniently. And uh, they have a beautiful M5 over here with a lot of M performance details. But look at this, wide body RS7. Not a fan of the wheels at all, but Still, you never ever see a wide body RS7. And we have an array of Lamborghinis here. We've got a Gallardo, some Huracan, some Aventadors. Five series. That's a seven series. <laughs> I don't think it's either bad. Nice S class. Another M5. Is that an M3 CS? It is. No, it's a CS. No, it isn't. It's not. It is? Oh, no, yeah, it's a manual. Oh, you're right. Damn, I'm it not has, good with guessing my cars. Oh yeah, you're right. M6. What kind of exhaust is he running? Let's take a look. Dinan. How do you pronounce that? Very pretty blue M6. I'm a big fan of that color. A lot. GTR, M4, some Porsche 911s everywhere. Turbo S, C63, M4. That Urus. I want to take that, take a closer look at that in greater detail. Okay, so I just want you guys to look at this Urus for a second. This has a wide body kit, forged carbon wheel arches, forged carbon everywhere. This thing just looks like it wants, the engine wants to explode. 
Holy crap. That's one hell of a Urus. And we have another Urus conveniently located right next to it, which looks a lot more uh, subdued in this gray. Huracan and a uh, bunch of Rolls Royces. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head inside and take a look and see what they got. All right, so we're inside Lamborghini Miami. And uh, I wanna show you guys this Aventador S Roadster with this crazy orange and white interior, some white piping. That's nuts. Got a red Huracan, Nardo Gray, Performante Spider. Got an Aventador Roadster over here. It's matching interior now, Cantera. An LP5 AB 2 Huracan Spider. A Huracan Evo. And another Huracan Evo in a very nice color. I like that a lot. And another Huracan LP5 AB 2 Huracan Evo Spider. And then a Performante. And uh, that's what's inside Lamborghini Miami. And uh, I now will show you guys the Miami Design District. And there are tons and tons of nice stores everywhere. There's Hermes, Cartier, Fendi, Xenia, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Tom Ford's over there. There is uh, Givenchy. There's Flight Club. And uh, there's us actually some pretty cool cars here as well. That Turbo S is so loud. Oh my God. Go for it. Benji's gonna tell him to rev it. That is a loud Turbo S. So we have a DB11 over here. And then over here chilling is an Aventador S. Just chilling. That thing looks badass. Woo. That is sick. Sick spec this on that. Every day. It looks like it. <laughs> Maybe, you never know. Oh, and then over here is also a brand new S-Class. It looks like it is an S63. So we're behind a 570 GT right now. That is very, very nice. Looks like he's going out on the highway. Had to get that in, car spotting. So now we are very close to outside of the design district. There's a parking garage for the design district. And we're at this place called Harry's, which is a pizza place. And I'm really excited to have some lunch. All right, so we're just car spotting here and we found a, a Huracan LP580-2 Spider. Okay, everybody, so now I am back at Benji's house. I just had to get all of my belongings. We're gonna head back to Boca and uh, go to my mom's house and she's actually gonna get a Christmas tree. We're gonna help decorate it and then Benji and I, we're gonna go out to dinner and I'm gonna say goodbye to him because I'm not gonna see him for like two weeks because I'm going back to college. So yeah. And uh, I'll show you guys when we get our Christmas tree. If I remember to vlog it, which I probably will forget. All right, so we're at my mom's house. We have the tree here decorated with all of our ornaments. There's mom and there's Peyton over there. Say hi to the vlog. Okay, boomer. Oh my God, Peyton's just been saying boomer recently. I'm not a boomer. I know you're Benji. not a boomer. The only boomer in this <laughs> He's chilling. And this is our tree. Some rainbow lights. And uh, we're gonna head to Tansy and we're gonna take the M3. So I'll show you guys when we're in the M3. Sexy, sexy red interior. That's really cool detail at night, by the way. The M3 logo lighting up. Let's hear the startup. Oh. Let's hear this thing, Benji. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys when we get to Tansy. All right, so we're walking into Tansy right now and we had to spot this ctsv wagon and if this is a manual uh, it's no it's an auto oh well bro that thing in a manual is such a good car okay so we have a little issue we thought the menu is different at tansy apparently they have a lunch and dinner menu and everything on the dinner menu was did not look appetizing at all so we just left so we went car spotting there's a nice c63 x7 and then over here we have a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster with uh, no license plate on it. And God, this thing looks so wide. This thing looks really, really, really nice. Okay, so we just finished our dinner. I completely forgot to film it all because we were so famished. 
It's about 10.30 at night and I don't usually eat this late. I'm exhausted and Benji's also exhausted. We've been up uh, since like what, uh, 8? I've been up since like 8.30, which isn't early, but I've just been doing so much stuff today and I'm exhausted, but it's a good feeling to be exhausted, especially when you're doing stuff that's really fun. Hey guys, I actually forgot to do an outro to that video. So a little side note, um, I went to Brickle City Center in that video and never actually filmed it because it was my first time ever going and I completely forgot to film. It's like an ongoing trend with every one of my videos. I always forget to film something and I forgot to go film the outro to this video. Um, I will definitely try to film Brickle City Center again whenever it opens up again. That would be number one. Uh, and it's a really cool place on the side note. And uh, I just wanted to say... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.